Okay, everybody. Let's welcome Crushers GC. We are joined by Paul Casey, our captain Bryson DeChambeau, Anurban Lahiri, and Charles Hal III. Congratulations on your second team win of 2023. Congratulations, guys. We'll Thank start you. down the line and just kind of talk about, about this week and what it was like. And were you surprised by the win today? Or do you kind of know that you guys were going to pull it out all week? Oh, well, first off, it's uh, you got to commend the play of these two. Holy cow. Um, yeah, you know, we're, uh, Paul and I were on the golf course. We were trying to play and be a part of it, but watching the leaderboard here for – uh, these two and uh, man, they, just, they can't talk enough about the golf they played um, all week. And it got windy yesterday and windy again today. The golf course is not easy by any measure, and uh, 13 and 12 under par for the weeks. Phenomenal golf. And Vaughn, obviously, I know this is a little bit better sweet for you. Does having the team win take the sting away from the individual? A little um, bit away? Uh, no. It's a, it, no. 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 I, no. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. No. I mean, I think all four of us will agree that you're trying to win the tournament outright first. Um, at least, you know, that that's how I look at it. Anyone else who says otherwise is lying. Uh, but yes, you know, the team win was something that we all knew that we needed to pull off. And, and we knew we should pull off. You know, if you look at the last three, four events, uh, I don't think we've been off the podium. Uh, and we've had one or two bad days. We had a tough day yesterday as well, but you know, it just shows how, how much depth we have in the team and you know, how solid we are behind each other. I think all of us together really want this. Uh, we were not happy with how things ended last year. Uh, we want to correct that, and uh, I think you know, our late season form is, is trending, and we want to take it forward for two more weeks. And Bryson, you had a sneaky win today. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. I, I can't even believe it still. It's kind of wild. Um, I, I really wanted Bond to make that putt. Uh, Me too. Yeah, I know. And uh, it's never one of those things you want to see a teammate go through. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. And I think, you know, he's he's learned a lot, obviously, throughout the course of his time at Live. You've had a bunch of seconds, right? And time's coming. Thanks for reminding me. I just had to say. But I'm, what, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm what I'm saying, though, is, like, he has been an unbelievable player, uh, as well as Paul and Charles supporting us from, from you know, the depths Unfortunately. From the back. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Bryce. I, I love you. <laughs> but but what I can say though is that these guys uh, mean the world to me. And when I was going through my tough times, I can't tell you how many times that they would talk to me personally and say, "Hey, man, there's a reason why you're here. Come on, you're you're better than this. Let's go, let's go." And so uh, to have that support system is is just uh, amazing. I can't thank them enough. And um, y we really just got to get the job done this year in Miami. That's the most important thing. I mean, it, you know, winning tournaments is, is important, but Miami, we want to get that win. And, Paul, heading into Miami with you guys being in this great form, do you guys as a team now, do you think, have a little bit more confidence heading in than you did last year? No, we had plenty of confidence last year. We just <laughs> didn't get it done, plain and simple. Um, you know, it's the, it's the beauty of, I mean, reiterate what these guys have already said. I mean, we're, we're such a close unit. We're, uh, on paper, it doesn't look like we, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, how are these four guys going to be friends? It's, like, the, it's, like it's the beginning of a joke. Like a <laughs> you got two, Amer English two Americans and an Indian, and Indian, like Texan, yeah. and you know, walk into a bar. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, what was Charles? <laughs> yeah, what was I? He just pointed to him. I was the, 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 the boy from Oki. Augusta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was the boy. He's an Oki too. So. <laughs> boy from Augusta. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're happy that at least we're we're somewhat happy right now that we've kind of solidified a. a Hopefully a seed. If we, I don't know if we've done that, Excellent. but we think we probably have. Mike would Top know. four. Mike, have we done a solidified yeah. top four? So um, we're in a strong position going in. Um, look, I mean, this is the beauty of... This is why I love what we're doing. It's the, it's the, it's the individual and the team element. And it's the individual element is rewarding to a certain level, and the team element is rewarding to a whole nother level. They're different. You can't compare them. Um, but boy, does it feel good to play good with these guys. Would it be safe to say that it gives you something to play for every yeah. day, every I week, mean, regardless was, of oh your... Yeah. I was a great example this week. I struggled with the game, and um, <laughs> Barn and Chucky saw it the first day. I played some really good golf and then just yeah. struggled. You know, this is a difficult golf course, but the motivation to back these guys up and contribute and uh, whatever I shot today, three under, was... I mean, I pulled that out of nowhere. You know, and it was really, really important in the end. It was. Yeah, we won by three, right? Yeah. Was it three? it was three? Two? Two? I think it was two. Well, if it was two, I mean, even more important, right? right? So, yeah. 
Awesome. I'm going to kick it over to Mike. I know he's got lots of questions for you. Bryson, can you just kind of take us through your range of emotions there? <laughs> uh, I watched you after after Bond missed the putt, and that was you won the tournament, but yet you were had your head down. To, to be honest with you, I, I was actually sad. Like I really wanted him to make that so we could go battle it off in a, in a playoff and finish it off the right way. Um, you know, that, so that was the first emotion that I had, and then secondly, you got people coming over and congratulating you. And it's just like, oh, you know, I, I really didn't feel like I won it because this isn't the normal feeling that I usually have when you win a tournament. So it was definitely a huge mix of emotions, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I missed a putt on the last hole thinking that that was to get into a playoff and then to go ha have it be to, to win. I, I don't even know what to say. It's really a weird mix of emotions, but very blessed, very happy, and, um, you know, it gives all of us something to continue to keep pushing for, you know. We, we, all, we all have the ability here to do it. Bond has shown numerous times. Paul has unbelievable skill set to, to get it done every single week, as does... Mr. Chucky 36 over there, Mike Oba, you know, blows so fields away. yeah, yeah, you blow fields away. So, you know, we've got some crazy good firepower here and um, turn it back to my man. I, I love you, Bond, but I'm, me too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt so bad. No, 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 no. Yeah. We're all trying to win. When, yeah. When did you think there was something special going on? Was it like the 12th hole? I, I assume. Did, did um, you? Yeah. I mean, the 12th hole, you look, I still had to birdie, you know, 14, um, par 15, uh, par 16, I birdie 17 and 18. So there was a lot I still had to do before that point. Um, you know, I just kept trying to hit as many fairways as I could and hit the irons close and, and make some putts. And that's ultimately just kind of what happens when I get on a roll. It just doesn't stop. And it's kind of like, uh-oh, here comes the train <laughs> sometimes. One last, question, one last question for yeah. you. Where does this stretch right now rank in terms of how you've played since you turned pro? Uh, I think it's probably some of the best for sure. Um, there's always stuff you can improve on, but consistently, some of the best. I mean, at Bedminster, I was still driving it really well. Three-putted seven times, I think, and that's ultimately, I, mean, I would have been in second place had I not three-putted. So I cleaned that up this week and, um, you know, hit it, hit it pretty well and uh, a little under the weather all week, but I don't know. Sometimes you got to be wary of the sick golfer, right? I think that's kind of we, we had a team visit to the pharmacy, didn't we? Yeah, like, we did. Yeah. We went to Walgreens. Night. We did, yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's what the team does when they're away, you know. What do you do off the course? We go to farm. That's right. No, it was just, we were all feeling a little, you know, throaty, I guess you could say. I don't know. There's a better way to put that. No, it was, it was the pro-am party, and we had a lot of, it was talking. great loud music talking, and it just felt like scratchy throats, and he said he was sick, so we, we hit the panic button, and we went to the pharmacy and bought the whole pharmacy. Bon, can you kind of take us through your day? Obviously, you, you got the lead, mm. and you were sitting on the lead for most of the day after you overtook Seb. Were there times when you were looking at the leaderboard and you saw Bryce in charge, and it's like, what are you doing to me, Captain? Come on. It's been no, eight not, years. Uh, it, it's, actually, it's actually quite weird because, you know, today was one of those days where I played really bad, to be honest. You know, like I was fighting my swing the whole day. Uh, I missed so many fairways right. Um, I wasn't turning on my way on my backswing very well um, but I just you know kept grinding it out uh, even though I wasn't hitting it good I wanted to make sure I take the you know big numbers out of play take the fives and the sixes out which I've done really well th this week uh, and I kind of did that I hung in there made a few birdies you know the par fives kind of took advantage a little bit um, and uh, yeah I think just towards the end I mean I, I guess you could say I three parted 18 and I three parted 15 but I never hit anything very close except for a couple of wedges. So I was kind of fighting my swing. Um, in my head, I knew I, I had to get about 15 or 16, to be honest, because uh, you know Sebastian came back really well. I know he fell off a little bit in the end, but you know I was just trying to look forward because one of the things with this golf course is if you're finishing on 18, you've got a pretty tough stretch of holes to finish up. Uh, but if guys are starting on, say, three or four or a little further up, You've got one, you've got two, you know, those are, you know, gettable holes. So I knew that I had to get to 14, 15, 16. I was just pushing to go go forward. Unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to do that coming in. So, you know, that was that. Was that. I really didn't see much of what was going on. I knew he was playing well because the team was up, and that's what I was happy about. I'm, I'm never going to, you know, not want the team to do well. So I was just trying to focus on what I needed to do. And, and this is the seventh second place finish you've had oh, since God. starting since you joined live you, you keep talking about being in position and, and kind of one of these days breaking through what's the thought right now 
uh, do this again uh, next Sunday and again the Sunday after that and again the Sunday after that and just keep doing it because uh, there's only so many times before I break that door. It hasn't gotten frustrating at all? Well, if it was frustrating, I wouldn't be working as hard as I am. Also, that's what makes a great golfer. That's why he's on the team. That's why I love him to death. Paul, can you just talk about, especially about Bryson's last month or so, just uh, since Greenbrier, what, what you've seen and how depressed you are? Yeah, I mentioned it to uh, uh, I have Matt Minster on the bag this week because Johnny's got his, um, his uh, health issues he's dealing with. So um, the reverend, as we call him, um, <laughs> uh, he used to work for Patrick. Um, I just said, I mean, this guy's because we saw his name pop up there. <laughs> And you're like, oh, oh, here he goes. This is good. Here we go. We got another hot Bryson. It's some of the golf, best golf I've seen him ever play. Mm, um, no doubt. Going back to, you know, including Wingfoot. And um, we played at Augusta my first year as an as I was an amateur playing with Speed. Remember that? I do remember that. Yep. <laughs> he was talking to me about. Uh, what I was, was giving it? you a lot of crap, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> on, on 10, um, walking down 10. Yeah, I was asking you about the Van Allen asteroid belt, how That's they right. got through that. Yeah, don't worry. Um, it's a rocket <laughs> science thing. Um, <laughs> we've been friends ever since. <laughs> yep. um, no, he's, he's we, we've, we've seen it coming. And I mean, this, we keep harking on about it, but it's a unit and it's that support structure that, um, you, you know, this is no different from watching things trend. And uh, right now, this is like, he's a buy. Like, you've got to back this this horse because it's um, you know I don't think this is I think honestly I think Bryson's just scratching the surface you know there's there's been a lot of if you want to go through it a lot of things that he's worked on and, and like I guess obstacles you know things like greens books you know certain rule changes stuff like that you know equipment um, the long drive thing I mean there's all <laughs> sorts of stuff you're building a house like there's a whole bunch of stuff that all right the people know that we know <laughs> that that your house will never be ready no. that he's figuring all these things out and he's just ticking them off and the less he then has to to figure out or the more he figures out should i say the less this of those questions the greater he is and, you know i mean there are i'm not gonna blow smoke but i mean he's got it's an unbelievable level of ability it's not a talent because it's there's talent but there's hard work and and, and the, the thought process and everything behind it. I mean, it's, we're just along for the ride, the three of us. We're just tagging along. But it's great to kind of be part of that and help in a certain way because we benefit from it as well. But I think this is, yes, I think this is a level that we've seen before, but I think there's more to come. Charles, you've been around this game for a while now. How much fun are you having with this whole team concept uh, playing with these guys? Oh, well, it's wonderful. Uh, Paul and I have known each other forever uh, since college days. Uh, Bryson, when he first came out on tour, I was uh, we played some practice rounds together and uh, got to know each other. I like the way that he uh, sees the game and, and how he goes through things. And uh, then Bon and I obviously played quite a few years back together on the PGA Tour. So uh, it's been awesome. I mean, at this point in my career, I, I couldn't ask for anything more or better. And uh, they, the guys push each other. You know, you see these guys on the leaderboard, you want to catch up there, you want to contribute, you want to be a part of it. So Bryce has been a wonderful captain. Um, he lets us uh, do our own things, to prepare the way we need to, but also together as a team. And, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about the job he's done. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Hey, guys, Thanks. Bond has to catch a flight, so yeah. we're going to keep all of the questions for right now focused on – Thank you, guys. I'm out. Give them to Bryson. Oh, see ya. No, He's can you stay go. for five? You got to go? He's got to go to China. Yeah, I've got go. one more question. Go okay, on. if anyone has a question for Bon, we're keeping Bryson after. If you have a question for Bryson, please hold it, okay? Question for Bon? See, I told you, I don't want to start Perfect. <laughs> I'm next. Anybody, anybody for me? Can I go? <laughs> okay, good I'll luck, there, Bon. Bon, I'll see you in there. You got to leave too? Yeah. And I got to go look up my kids. Can I go? No, I do. They're okay. Well, let's let's over one, one or two more. more media. Uh, Bryson, uh, obviously under different organizations, but third big win in your career here in the state of Illinois. How much yeah. do you like playing Midwest golf, and how has Illinois been to you? Bluegrass, baby. Uh, I don't know. Is that is that right? <laughs> is that uh, – anyway, you're, he's just leaving. He's just, say, bye. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's just going to be questions for me. I'll see you. I'll see, I love you guys too. I'll see you in there a little bit. No, it's just that really the, the grass, the air. I don't know. There's something about the greens. 
I'm comfortable on. I grew up on grass like that at Dragonfly, Riverbend. Um, yeah, so I'm just super comfortable with the grass, and I know how it's going to respond. And this is now the second time that I've won in, like, kind of semi-rainy, drizzly, wet conditions, which is something I've never done. Um, so it's really cool to be able to win, and then win in a weird way. Like, I just came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> Going from, oh, I'm not going to be even in a playoff to, oh, I'm in a playoff to, oh, you win. I mean, what are those types of emotions, you know, as, as I'm on the fourth hole, fourth green? I, I had no idea what was going on. You said at, at Olympia when you won the amateur yeah. that you had played here a few weeks before. In yeah, the Western, Western Am, Am, that's and right. you didn't win, but you said you felt like this was a kickstart, how well you played here. Correct. And on to bigger and better. You're hoping it's another kickstart into Miami? and Yeah, absolutely, and beyond. I think there's going to be a lot of work uh, – in the off season going on, I'm not going to describe too much of that. But what I can tell you is something special is going to going to happen next year because of it. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Can I do one quick one? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Um, so with what happens at the Greenbrier, how much does that take a weight off your shoulders? Give you extra confidence when you're at what even par halfway through yeah. yesterday's round? So I mean, how does I, that propel you? I, I knew that this golf course was gettable. I knew that I could have the chance to go low. Um, just with the way I'm driving it and hitting it, putting it as well. It just felt like such a unique week because it wasn't like I putted super great or hit it really great. I just kept it in play and hit it in the right places, and I feel like I took advantage when I needed to. I even missed a one-footer. I, I, I pretty much missed a, a tap-in uh, yesterday. So just all of weird stuff happened this week, but kept focusing on Jibo. Again, he's been unbelievable and helping me stay focused uh, out there on the right things at, at, at hand, not focusing too far ahead or too far behind, but really getting in, ingrained in the shot and keeping me at a, at a level pace. Um, what's nice about him is he's from Washington, so he's kind of got that little mellow fever sort of thing, and you know I just kind of flow off of that, which is really great. So I don't know. I just uh, it's 58, yes, but again, I played well on this golf course. Thanks. Carson, I didn't get to ask you one earlier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So in Greenbrier, your mom was not there. She yeah. was there today to watch you win. Can you just mm -hmm. tell us how special that was for you to have her out here today? It was amazing. First off, you know, my mom probably not even thinking, oh, you know, he may play well and finish top ten or something. But to actually go get it done and do it for her and for my family, my, my cousins that are here and everything, it's, it's uh, pretty special. They're from Quincy, so just south southwest of here, which is sweet. Um, you know, not many times that my mom's got to see, see me win because she's given so much up. Uh, you know, to me, to support me and everything. She had a job for a long time. She just retired, so she's been able to be out here for quite a while, and um, it's great for her to get to just see the environment, see the, the family, friends, meet new people. Uh, obviously, with my dad passing last year, I wish he would have gotten to see, see me win, but I know he's up there in spirit, and he's looking down smiling, so no problems there. Uh, but it's definitely special that uh, my mom's with me. I love her to death, and she's given everything up to uh, have me do this, which is pretty special. Thanks. Go for it. Bryson, given how well you're playing, I mean, yes. how much more disappointed does it make you to not be on that Ryder Cup team and you know, you're playing some of your best golf, right? Or how, how Are you playing better than Wingfoot? Like yeah, definitely. I, I am playing better than Wingfoot. Um, you know, if you look at it, it would have been nice to at least just have, have a call. Um, there's numerous people that I think Zach should have called uh, out here. And we didn't get that. And I understand. I, I, I get it. But, you know, we're, we're nothing different. We're still competing. We're still working super hard to be the best we possibly can be. Brooks is obviously going to kill it for uh, Team USA next week and excited uh, for the team. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely does sting a little bit. But, you know, you say what you want. We're still golfers. And I personally think that um, given the way I played this week, I, I could have definitely racked up some points for Team USA. But, uh, it's nor here nor there. It's uh, time has gone on. Hopefully, I'll be in line for it uh, in a couple of years. But you, do you attribute it to Zach? I mean, you won his tournament in 2017 in the Quad Cities. I did. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was if he was you know back ended or whatnot. I'm not up to make that discussion uh, available. I have no idea what it was or how it was like or who made that decision. But um, you know, it would have been nice to for them to consider us more because. We're pretty damn good out here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Anyone else? Okay, Bryce, I know you're going to do a quick hit with CW. 